I understand that mainstream media doesn't really like to report the news anymore, so I thought I would just mention that America, you have bombed six countries in one weekend. Congratulations, America. You are on a roll. Oh, I understand, the Americans, you really don't know about it. Your president goes over to China, he gets snubbed, he gets humiliated, he gets embarrassed. So what does he do? He comes home and he gets on the phone to the generals and say, Listen, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, Afghanistan, I want them all bombed in one weekend. I'm going to show these G20 people who's the boss. I'm going to show China who's the boss. I'm going to show Putin who's the boss. This reminds me of a cartoon strip back in the 1960s. You used to get comic books, and at the back of every comic book was a little advertisement from Charles Atlas, the little skinny guy who had sand kicked in his face. Obama reminds me of that little skinny guy who got sand kicked in his face, and then he's going to fly home and tell the army to bomb six countries in one weekend. Yes, Obama was humiliated, snubbed, and embarrassed as he had to exit the ass of Air Force One. There was no red carpet waiting for him. China sent him a big, big message. And what was that message that got Obama's attention, that got the sand kicked in his face? What was it that Obama was so worried about, so stressed out, stressed out and scared? I'll tell you what the message was. The message was loud and clear. It was an alliance, an alliance between the Chinese dynasty, the Persian Empire, the Russian bear, and now the Ottoman Empire. You put all those together... And yes, I've been saying for a while now, you're talking about a change in the balance of power on the world stage. Even the IMF is on board. The IMF is there to help China send their currency global. The whole time while Putin and Erdogan are talking about leaving NATO, you can see that Obama was embarrassed. They got his attention over there, but like a little skinny kid on the beach. He got really humiliated, and he came home, and he got on the phone with his generals. But let me tell you something. Instead of getting on the phone with his generals, Obama should have came out and had a little press conference with the American people. Because the American people are a little upset. We're worried. We're concerned that we don't have trillions and trillions of dollars to blow down a black hole. Americans are worried about their children. Americans are worried about their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren. Americans realize that a trillion seconds is over 31,000 years. Americans now realize, because Obama was embarrassed and humiliated, had sand kicked in his face, that Americans have to pay for over 31,000 years. It'll take over 31,000 years to pay off those trillions of dollars that we have sent down a black hole. Yes, we should be concerned. Because if Obama really wants to grow muscles, if Obama really wants to grow strength and be respected, he should come out to the American people and ask the American people, what do they want? And the American people would be very, very clear to him. We want jobs in America. We don't want to spend trillions of dollars in a black hole somewhere where it has nothing to do with us. So Obama looks at the red line that he drew in the sand, and Putin kicks sand in his face. And it's embarrassing. And who has to pay? Who has to pay for Obama's inferiority complex? Who has to pay when Obama goes to China and he starts feeling faint and dizzy and he starts suffering from anxiety attacks and he has this inferiority complex because they don't like him over in China. Oh, how they treated me so bad in China. And he, he came home and who has to pay for this? The Americans have to pay for it because to bomb six countries and one weekend, it cost billions and billions and billions of dollars. We have sent trillions of dollars down that black hole, and we got nothing in return but disrespect. The only thing that we have gotten in 15 years from bombing all these countries is a total disrespect. And finally, 
the world wakes up and they send a little message to Obama over in China. They call it the China Dynasty plus the Persian Empire plus the Russian Bear plus the Ottoman Empire. You combine it all together and what do you get on the world stage? is a change in the balance of power. So Obama, wake up and smell the coffee. The American people don't want you no more. The American people don't want your agenda. Your agenda is to destroy America. Break us. Bring us to our, bring us to our knees. And we'll have to spend, we'll have to, it'll take over 31,000 years. It'll take Americans 31,000 years to pay off the trillions of dollars that you blew down that black hole, you and your buddy George Bush.